Our next structure, the 1861 Farmstead, illustrates how the lives of settlers changed over time. This building started as a simple two-room dog trot house with a single room constructed of dovetailed logs on each side of a central porch designed to catch the breeze. As the owners became more prosperous, they added two frame rooms on the back of the house, as well as a second story which was made of logs. The house was further embellished with the addition of commercially milled siding on the front and two ends, bringing the home to its current condition by 1861. Farmstead has several outbuildings, including a log kitchen, cellar house, barn, and blacksmith shop, all designed to make the farmstead as self-sufficient as possible. As was typical of the time, the farm operated in a barter economy, trading what they had for what they needed. The men raised crops tended livestock, hunted and trapped, and ran the blacksmith shop. Um, I did a lot of stuff for folks who are coming through, passing on their way into uh, the New Mexico territories. And so uh, I'm always making campfire sets for them, uh, S hooks, nails. A lot of times they'll come in and I'll end up picking up about 100 nails at a time. We do quite a bit of a barter system here. We get people that will bring in wagon parts, um, old wagon wheels or uh, bolts and such. So we make a lot of things out of those. And in change, exchange for that, we end up making uh, fire pokers for them out of that material. And that's about there. Let me grab my hammer. And what I'll show y'all is just a simple nail. The first thing I want to do is make this round rod square. So I'm hitting it on two sides with a hammer. The anvil face is actually doing the work for me on the other two sides to make a four-sided piece. As I hit it, I'm drawing it out to a point. And I want to try and do as much work as I can in, in a single heat. That way I'm not burning up the steel, but I'm actually allowing it to do quite a bit of the work as I hammer on it. The women tended the chickens and smaller livestock, spun thread, wove cloth, sewed clothes, quilted, and cooked. It was a busy life, centered around the basic needs of life. Those who were diligent and industrious prospered. while those with less talent or ambition often failed. 